It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your Genshin career into your own hands. Got tired of the same old team? Want to try something thrilling? Great! It's time to take your gaming skills to its limits. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a machine gun amber main. That's right! Your very first archer in the game turned into a machine gun. Something almost anyone can do that has opened the game once. Sure, it won't be a small investment, but everyone who has done it came out as a better archer. And that means it's safe and rewarding. In this video, we'll cover all the ways to make your amber a threat to all of and over to that. Topics like techniques on becoming a machine gun menace, builds to ensure the highest damage possible with your amber, and even demonstrations to what your future amber will look like. This concludes our brief introduction to the video. Congratulations on taking the first step on becoming a machine gun amber main. Wear this title with pride and let's deal some damage. Artifacts and weapons not included. Results may vary. Hello chat, welcome to Amber 101 today, and today I am going to teach you guys the art of aim cancelling, also known as the machine gun amber build. The reason for that is because right now in the shop, there is an amber constellation that you can grab. Now Amber, Kaya, and Lisa can only be obtained in the standard banner, Amber, Kaya, and Lisa can only be obtained via standard wishes right now. So. I highly recommend grabbing Amber out of the shop today because Amber C1 talent. You fire two arrows per aim shot. The second one deals 20% of the first arrow's damage. It's very important for the machine gun build because if you only shoot one shot, it's kind of like whatever, right? But if you can shoot two at the same time, you're gonna increase your DPS really fast. Now it doesn't work on normal attacks. Keep that in mind, okay? This is a normal attack. When you're just clicking or pressing the button on your phone or just a regular attack on a controller. It's just this. This does not count. This is an aim shot and this is a fully charged shot. There is a difference. There is a massive difference between those two. Fully charged aim shot is the, her pyro shot. So you go from this to this. If you fully charge shot, it becomes a pyro element attack and you do this much extra damage. Now, how do we learn how to do this? This is what you want to learn, right? How do we do this? So a lot of people think it's like going in and out between R. It is not. That is not what this is, right? Because you need to like still shoot somehow. You can like try alternate tapping them. It won't work. Then there's probably the Goro technique you've seen probably in that one like viral video going around where it's literally a machine gun. Um, the reason why I don't do that is generally you need a controller for that. You need to set your game to 30 FPS so it's easier to time. And generally, with that team, it's usually like a full stack team with full buffs, and you don't move. You're more or less like a turret, and I'm just not into that playstyle. And sure, you can delete an enemy in like 10 seconds. It loses its novelty really fast, and I get it, find it kind of boring personally. That's why I don't do that. You need to set your camera sensitivity to certain numbers. You set whatever is comfortable for you. Whatever is comfortable for you, you set it that way. So let's take a look here. At the fastest I can go, this is how fast we can hit this little block here. Pay attention to the sound on the block. Right, that's as fast as you can go, right? Now if we do the aim cancelling technique, 
I think that explains itself already. You're, you're landing more shots in there, right? The C1 does not count to normal attacks at all. It only counts to an aim shot and charge shot too, for that matter. You can see the two streaks going through the sky right there, right? The other question is, why not just go into aim mode and just shoot like this? So listen again. I'm going as fast as I can. Do, 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 do. Now you can do that if you want. If you're not used to this yet, you can totally do that. But once you get the hang of it, it should sound more like this. Is this technique possible in mobile? Yes, I will also demonstrate that too if you guys like. I don't know if I can... I'll show, I'll show all the ways you can do it. Controller 2. Now how do you do this? How do you do this? Okay, so the technique is... So, you know how when you press R, or like aim mode on your phone or whatever, right? You go into this, no hands, it just goes into aim mode for you, right? And then you can move around and do whatever, right? Until you shoot. You want to go into the one where you hold the aim and then let go. Right? It, it shoots as soon as you let go, like that, right? Like, like that. Instead of letting it charge up all the way, like that, you just let it go sooner. But as you let go, you gotta click back into it. Right, so you let you click in, let go, but now find that rhythm. So in and out, 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 in and out. Then you go like super fast. The other things you need to be aware of is okay. So say you have a still enemy, like say like Ashda or something standing in front of you, and you do this. So let's say you just shoot normally. You don't do anything else. So you're just going like this. So I'm not doing anything. You'll notice that Amber will start shooting a little bit left. It starts like veering off a little bit, right? So that is something you need to get used to as well. So when you shoot, you need to compensate by aiming a little bit to the right each time you shoot. So you can keep it consistent, consistently in the center. So this technique, what I'm doing here is I lift up the mouse a little bit, like as I shoot. So when I shoot, I kind of like drag it up a bit to bring it back to where it goes. You see how I'm lifting up the mouse like that? Just to kind of like recenter it, recenter the aim. Then you just go in a rhythm. You don't go like super fast because that's going to look like this, right? It's all about the rhythm. Just find a nice rhythm. You can start like slow. And once you get more comfortable, then you start picking it up, right? It can only go so fast too. The Ember Mains in the Ember Main Discord have this all like mathed out with times and numbers and how many shots you can get off. I don't study any of that. They have that information if you want, if you want to go study it. I'm more just like play by experience. <laughs> and this, this is kind of like my style. Does that make sense, class? Now, you can also do this while moving. So you're not like a sitting duck. You can strafe around. You can shoot backwards as you run. You can move forward as you do it. You can strafe to the side. And you can strafe left. Whatever. This helps. This helps you because as an archer, any kind of sniper class, you never ever want to stay still. You never ever want to do that. You want to keep moving. And that's really it. That's all you got to know. That's mostly how you do the Amber build. And if you want to practice, you can just like, yeah, come here. Aim at Venti statue. Show him who's the real boss. <laughs> Aiming and moving at the same time is tough. Maybe that might be the hardest part for sure. Is it possible with PS4? Yes. PS4, PS5 controllers, they're all possible. So because this is an all physical build, your first type of weapons you would like to use. So the best weapon you could possibly get for this, in my opinion, is the Skyward Harp because you gain increased crit rate and crit damage. So for this build specifically, you want to have like a very high crit value, very, very high. Also the little uh, bonus you get from it, mine has a 100% chance to do a small AOE and dealing 125% extra physical damage, which happens every two seconds. Two seconds goes by really fast, right? And when you're shooting like this on something, you're gonna get tons of procs, like really, really quickly. So Skyward Harp is definitely one of the best. Thundering Pulse is okay. You could use that, increases your attack, right? This doesn't count to it though. The normal attack does not buff your aim attack. So that won't really matter here. Uh. Akio Simulacra can be good if you're like super up close to the enemy and hitting them. This will help benefit too. That can help you a lot. Polar Star is good if you can weave in like your skills and your bursts into your attacks. 
because it also keeps up the charge attack, right? Famous you could do too, if you have one, that's fine. Do attack speed buffs help? No, because this is again, not normal attack, right? This is all you. This is all controlled by you. Aim is just you completely. It will not help you at all. If it could, that would be insane. <laughs> the Hama Yumi is a great choice because it increases charge attack damage by 24. And if you hold your burst, you can get up to 48% extra attack, which is pretty nice, right? The only problem with this is there's no crit, right? You get more attack. So as long as you keep hitting them in the weak spot, this is a great bow. But if you hit them in the body and it doesn't crit, then it kind of sucks. You gotta keep that in mind. Mitranax Volts. Now, pay close attention here. This says normal attack hits on opponent increase elemental skill damage by 40. Wait, no. Sorry, I got this bow mixed up with the rest. It is physical though, but it doesn't pick charged. So it would not work with your machine gun build. Black Cliff Warbow is a nice crit damage build. Again, if you hit them in the head, it's great. And once you start clearing out mobs, you gain attack bonuses, which is really good. Uh, Prototype Crescent is an amazing one. On weak points, you get movement speed and extra attack by 72%. Again, no crit though, so you gotta be careful. Royal Bow, I've never tried it personally. It could work, right? You can guarantee your crits every five hits for sure. And you get a lot of attack. Cut could be worth the investment. I have no idea. I haven't really practiced with this one yet. Viridescent Hunt is a good bow for it too. It sort of works like a Skyward Heart by making a Cyclo. Normal and charge attacks have a chance to make it. So just a regular aim shot will bring it out and deals attack to people. So Viridescent Hunt's really good. Rust increases normal attack damage by 80%, but decreases charge attack damage by 10. So no, this is not a good bow for this. No, your aim cancels will be nerfed by 10. Your normals would be okay though, if you want to spam Amber. Compound bow, yes, would work. Cause charge attack hits increase attack and normal attack speed, which you're not using, but your charge attack still goes up and it's a physical buff. So you could totally use this. Sharpshooter's Oath, another good one, increases damage against weak spots by 48%. It's very specific though, right? You gotta aim for heads, but you do get a massive crit damage bonus and extra weak or extra damage on weak points. So it is a very good bow you could use too. I used this in the previous Amber competition for the, the entertainment track where I would have to hit everything in the head. It was enough to take them all out. So it's a very, very good bow. Slingshot's a great one too. Uh, you get your crit rate from it, so you won't have to worry about it, but you gotta be close by for this one. I think that's it, right? Yeah. So those would be your boats. Now, constellations. Okay, there's two physical sets. There's Bloodstain and then there's Pale Flame. There's two of them. Obviously, you want a physical cup because your main source of DPS is all physical. So you want to keep that. Bloodstain, two piece, 25% extra physical damage. Cool, right? The four piece set after defeating an opponent increases charge attack damage by 50% and reduces stamina costs to zero for 10. Okay, so it's very situational. If there's a lot of mobs and you can kill things really fast, sure, it could help, but I wouldn't count on it. So I would just stick with two pieces of that and then two pieces of pale flame to get another 25% physical. So you just have this 50% passive of physical damage to your disposal because the four piece on this, when your skill, Baron Bunny hits the opponent, you gain 9% for 7 seconds, attack that is. And if you stack 2 times, the increased 2 piece increased by 100%. So I don't know if it's 100% at 25, or is that just like doubling 25? So it's either 50% or like 38, 37%, 37.5% or something. I'm not 100% sure. That's not it either, because Baron Bunny, you gotta hope for it to hit, right? then you got like a 11 second cooldown or longer depending on what constellations you have it's not consistent so four piece pale flame i wouldn't even do if you want to build a hybrid build you could do like two piece physical and two piece like gladiator or other equivalent attack piece sets those would be good too plus you can also kind of like funnel that extra attack to your pyro damage so baron bunny can be pretty viable but even in this build baron bunny is still pretty strong like after C1, these just improve your just like it just makes Amber a much more rounded out character. Like if Amber was to be released, this should have just been what Amber was right at the start. And then Constellation's doing something else, right? These should have just been open for Amber right off the bat, in my opinion. Four piece Shimanawa might be good if you don't use her burst. Um it only increases attack though, it doesn't increase your physical. Also, you only get 10 seconds to shoot. My opinion to this is 
There's only like, you only have such a window to work on. It works better in a rotation. I wouldn't like it either then. I don't like the idea of it. Personally, I just don't like it because why do I have to depend on a cooldown set thing where I can just like stand somewhere and just spam shoot and not have to worry about that kind of setup. It takes my mind off that part and I can just focus on keeping my rhythm. It sounds good on paper, but to me, like why not just have 50% passive physical bonus and just you're good to go rather than having to cast your skill, then shoot a bunch of times. You're probably gonna get attacked at this point, so you need to move out of the way, so you're wasting seconds. You gotta reposition and shoot, then shoot the bunny again. Shoot some more. Oh no, it's coming at me. Move out of the way, right? Shoot some more again. You're also burning your energy this way, right? Because now it comes down to like having your burst ready for an iframe. If you're C6, you can use that as an attack boost and a speed movement thing. Baron Bunny is also really handy against mobs, so you can use Baron Bunny to like bait enemies for you, so they can distract them, so you can shoot. I don't know. If you're trying to like make the biggest, fastest spam shot you ever want for something, maybe I guess Shimanama would work. But I like my type of Ember playstyle is I'm a soloist, so I need the bunnies to do their thing. I need to keep my energy, right? Uh, so I personally do not like Shimanama. Or would not prefer Shimanawa, at least. I would rather the two pale to blood. Oh, also. It doesn't have to be Amber. You can use Venti as well. His C1, he shoots two extra arrows. So it's like an improved version of Amber's spam build. Except it works like right. a little different. Just a little different. Instead of shooting like how Amber does this, it's like an arrow and then another arrow underneath. Venti does this. He's more of a shotgun kind of type. So it spreads out. In like a cone in the front so you need to be especially close to enemies for it to work or use mobs or use his burst to gather up enemies and just shoot into it like that it's really fun he also feels a little bit easier to aim cancel on as well while you could aim cancel with other characters if you wanted to like say i don't know let's, let's do pick this. so diota she only gets that single shot she doesn't have anything my Dion is C6, so she doesn't have an ability that adds more arrows to her. Same with Kujo Sara. You can still do this. It's a good skill to have. Right? It's good to know how to aim cancel in some situations. But when you're trying to build like a physical build for them, they're not going to be as effective as Venti and Amber. Venti is even more effective than Amber because his Constellation 2 shreds physical as well. And then you can get an additional version of it if they're airborne. So Venti is ultimately the best, like, aim cancel physical build type archer if you really want to, like, go all out. But you got Amber. You don't really need Venti. <laughs>
like that. No hit. Easy. Why don't we do that in the abyss? Just go watch Nitro Tom or Furu if you want to see. Oh, well, maybe more Nitro Tom. Nitro Tom's guy to do that kind of thing. I'm not. <laughs> I don't have the patience for it. He does. So if you want to see like a really good Amber main that does this in the abyss on controller, go check out Nitro. Woo! Your sword down, sir. Come on. So, he is the problem by being distracted by the button. So I can just hang out back here and shoot. Put another bunny next to him. Go behind his back. Do a bunch more times. Get him the next space. Put a bunny next to him. You can go ham on the bunny. Get another bunny to deal with. have been faster but you know that's the other thing you need to learn when you play amber eye framing <laughs> you need to learn about your eye frames and how to dodge great way great character to practice it on because amber still can't kill as fast as some other characters right but you definitely get to learn about how to do other things The attack cancels activate Shincho and Yelan? No, because those only activate on normal attacks. Once again, your character's normal attacks will trigger consecutive sword rain. Normal attacks, right? The machine gun build is charged and aim shot, so those would not activate it. If they did, holy crap, Amber would be in a totally different meta right now. <laughs> I guess C6 Mika could help, but that's a massive investment if you want to get there. Uh, Jungli's Pillar, Shield, Tenacity build, like, supports can help. Um, I think Shinha has something too, actually, doesn't she? Yeah, people inside her burst have a physical res shred. Shogun, if you combine, like, the Electro and, like, a crowd together, yeah, C6 Rosaria could help too. But then again, that's high investment, right? Uh, I don't think most Amber mains, that aren't me <laughs> at least, probably won't be investing, like, super hard that way. Oh, here's an interesting one. This guy, you can increase your normal attack level by one. So with him in the group, we'll look at 86.7 on her aim shot. So if we add Mr. Man, to end a few Amber goes to level 11. Now her charge shot is 92.8. So you gained about six or 7% ish around there. That's still pretty good, right? An extra 7% damage. Rosaria, she has another C6 talent, shreds physical res, but again, it's C6, right? That's a big investment you gotta do. Kujo Sar and Bennett with their fields can definitely help, yeah. Kujo Sar with her skill, Bennett with his burst can definitely help that out as well. Uh, Shinyan has something that shreds physical when you're protected by shield, isn't it? Character shielded by, yeah. So you can get a shield up with that and you can get an extra 15% if you'd like. Yo, like Lisa would be great. Lisa and like another cryo character. So like Lisa and Rosari together. Cause Superconduct lowers physical resistance as well. So you combine Lisa and Rosaria, make a field for things to like stand in. Then Amber can really like destroy in there. That would help. Venti would help too. You just all suck them all in there. But then again, why don't you just run Venti as physical? In my opinion, because you like Amber. That's why. Good, <laughs> good answer chat. Good answer. It's not about Venti and his strength. It's because you like Amber more. Good answer. Say yes. <laughs> can you see my phone chat? Turn this up. So I have an iPhone 13. So yeah, so the attack button's down there, right? So. As long as you like tap the screen in a rhythm, you can do it. 
And you can like drag over the button too to like recenter your shot. All right, be careful. Oh God, see I'm not used to this. This is so scary. Oh. There we go. This takes some practice. But it can be done. Sponsored? I wish. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. There's that example. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna switch over to... It's not reading my controller. No! Oh my god, I'm so not used to controller. <laughs> Okay, so what is this? Normal attack here? Yeah, so if you can find a rhythm for on here, you probably want to like put it on like a shoulder button maybe. Hey, there's something So this goes in here. if I hold. Come on, let's take a look. So if you do, you got to do like So there's like a yeah, I can kind of do it. I'm not really good at it, though. It's easier in 30 FPS, apparently. I can't do it. I can't do this. It's too hard. <laughs> I've done it a few times. Oh, You gotta, like, bring them both down, but then, like, kind of release. Oh, see, I kind of had it. Oh, kind of had it again. Oh, I kind of had it. This is the forbidden. This is like me unlocking all my chakra gates just to do this crazy technique. Yeah, there's there's a couple amber mains that can do this. They're just gated by, by their artifacts and gear. <laughs> That's the only problem. Can't do it. It hurts my wrist too. I don't normally like playing controller spam mode. Love live controller. Yeah, you could do that. Whatever crazy controller that you have. For this. I right, speak of the devil. Look who's here. The number one amber main himself. Hello there, Nitro. And Furu, the other sweet ass Ambermane, they're both here, you guys. <laughs> what the frick? There you go, guys. There's two Ambermanes that if you want to learn stuff from, it's these two right here. Nitro, the Endurance Ambermane, does all the crazy challenges. And Furu, the god of the abyss and like team builds and things. That's the guy you go to instead. So I hope this video helps. Any future Amber Mains in the chat? Once again, here's two guys that you can go check out. Nitro, very technically advanced with this game with like math, numbers, what to build, solos and things like that. Or you can check out Furu, who's better, better at like team builds with Amber. Explore more of her kit, what works with Amber in a team and stuff like that. Or if you want to look at my content where it's like, what does Amber look like when you have the best like things learning. ever? My equipment is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm, I'm decent at this game. I'm at least top five. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll leave all the links down below in the description and whatnot and link everybody back and join the Amber Main Discord if you want to learn more from there. The other Amber Mains, there's an Outrider competition going on right now, which you should check out if you want to like practice it. Uh, so yeah, definitely give that a look. Thank you for listening to this YouTube video, everybody. You know what to do now. Bye. Bye, YouTube. Perfect. Oh, Nitro, opinion on Shimanawa set for Amber Machine Gun. Yes or no? Personally, I don't like it. What is your opinion on it? Hmm. Technically strongest, but got a bunny cancel every 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, that's right. Bit of a pain, yeah.